Tornado 4x4. We're going to freeze our butt off. Actually, we're going to take the uh, YJ to Torquerville Falls. It's pretty cold here in the morning, but it'll warm up. Okay, so uh, today, uh, Saturday, it's uh, what about 8 845? Get around this traffic. We are meeting uh, the St. George Jeepers again uh, to do Torquerville Falls. I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity. It's so close. It'd be a perfect opportunity to take the uh, YJ out. So we're meeting up at the Maverick. We're about 10 minutes away. And uh, once we get there, we'll get some gas, clean off the windshield, and uh, talk to some people. Just a short little drive from the uh, meetup point, we reach the uh, Torquerville Falls uh, trailhead, and uh, people are getting ready, doing some last-minute adjustment, trail fixes, and uh, checking out other people's jeeps. Just uh, talking to other people, getting ready for the trail. trail up to Tor Tokerville Falls is not uh, really a technical trail at all. It's more of a trail. It's, uh, it's got some embedded rock in the uh, road. It's got a few uh, small ledges. Two-wheel drive can make it. Four-wheel drive is probably preferable. Definitely some high clearance. Other than that, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy going. Um, it's not, not too hard of a trail to do. We did the alternate up to the uh, radio towers, which was uh, pretty cool. As you're driving to Tokerville Falls, there is a little side trip you can take. It's about uh, two, three, four miles one way. Um, goes up to the top of the peak where there's a, uh, a bunch of radio towers and uh, phone towers, that kind of thing set up up there. But it gets a great view of the uh, Hurricane Valley and Leeds up north, Pine Mountain, that sort of thing. It's worth the side trip. Takes another half hour, 45 minutes to get up and back. Uh, it's a little st steep, nothing too technical, nothing technical at all. You can see the road there. 
And uh, as you're looking at the video right now, the uh, road up ahead that you see on the mountain, that is not the uh, main road going up. That's another side trail. Uh, and it's very, very steep. If you look around on YouTube, there is a tow truck company that goes up there and rescues people. They try to climb it. It's almost steep enough where you can't walk it. Uh, but they go up there and uh, people try it and they get stuck and they call for help and they come out and fix it. Or, you know, they come out and, and uh, rescue them. But uh, the trip up to the uh, uh, tower are uh, pretty cool. As you can see, the, the, uh, the view is really great all the way around, so it's worth the trip. done checking out the radio tower uh, facilities and the uh, view and we were back in the Jeeps and uh, down the road to Tokerville Falls. From here it's back down uh, the trail to the main road and then uh, probably about, I don't know, five, maybe ten miles to uh, the falls. Pretty easy drive. <music> secondary route to the falls it kind of loops back to the main trail and it goes down falls the creek uh, as it comes off the falls there it's a lot more technical depending on the time of the year and the uh, water runoff that's happening that year uh, can be mild to uh, a little bit moderate I guess but I haven't tried it yet as soon as I do I will definitely get a video of it done driving through the falls and uh, we had some lunch sat around talked a little bit took uh, some time out we uh, decided to head back to town finish the trail and uh, like I said this trail is not very hard it's uh, you could do it in a two-wheel drive truck some areas coming up are a little bit difficult 
without four wheel drive, you're just going to have to get use a little bit of momentum to get up there, but it's doable. Uh, the four wheel drive makes it a lot easier. It is, I think the uh, St. George Jeeper is rated as a three, which is, is fine. It's, you know, it's a solid two, a light three, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but it's fun to go up and check it out. Like I said, there is a back way that loops around. It's a little bit harder, more technical. Uh, hopefully, uh, maybe next spring I'll get a chance to do that. It's a good time. mention real quick was that uh, this is the first trail I take I, I had the YJ out in a long long time I wanted to do something close by and uh, something really easy just to work the, the bugs out of it and find out if there was anything wrong with it since that time I was able to take it out and do uh, razzle dazzle at sand hollow which is a little bit more of a technical trail but uh, this trail did great uh, had a fun time with it and uh, look forward to taking it out more and uh, doing some more trails with it around the area.